Two, two, two. Good afternoon, anglers. You've got uh, about nine minutes to get your key tags on. Just remember today, the Lorentz release area is over at the jetty. Keep them away from the uh, pelicans and let them swim to fight another day. The food is here. The drinks are here, so help yourselves. It's been a great day on the water. Two, two. Welcome back, anglers. About three minutes to go to the two o'clock uh, deadline on the key tags. Got some cold drinks and some uh, hot pizza here for you as well. No, they can't. That's what I'm saying. When you roll it up. <clears throat> and for anyone who is watching on Facebook Live, you can please give us a uh, thumbs up and uh, let us know that you're getting that sound today. Thank you very much.
Okay, just waiting on a few key tags. Uh, Sean Hill, Paul Dunlop and Philip Lever. Someone might have corrected it. I did. Yeah. It was in the wrong spot. No, it wasn't. That's okay. Still. Philip Lever. Anyone seen Phil? Currently in second place. Paul Dunlop. Did you see him? And Paul Dunlop. Do mods first, Jim. Okay, we're going to weigh a few guys in early to give us a hand. Mods is up here. He's got three fish. Come in at 1.58 to put you into second place. There you go. And we're on. Matt Petrie is next. Mods is on scoring with Jim Barry and Matt Petrie is on the bump tub officiating. Two fish for Matty. You need two kilos to take the lead, just so you know. Point nine nine. Thanks, Matty. I'll get things rolling then, Jim. All right. Yep. 
Okay, here we are. We're back live. We've got sound from everyone on uh, giving us a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Sorry about the uh, technical difficulties yesterday. Welcome to day number two. This is round number six of the Hobie Kayak Brim Fishing Series. This is number 11. Uh, and welcome back to Woi Woi. I love this place. Fantastic fishery, especially at this time of year. Um, this weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we have 91 of the Australia's best anglers, South Australia, New South Wales, Queensland, ACT, and Victoria, made the journey and the effort to be here. Um, and this particular weekend is the Gerber Round. They're a naming rights sponsor here. Gerber is a great company. Lately, they've been into making filleting knives, braid cutters, etc., and they're going to have some new saltwater tools we hear in the making later on. All these events are not possible without the following sponsors. All these are marine-related or tackle-related companies. Daiwa, Power Pole, those are the uh, shallow water anchors you see on the back of these kayaks. Lawrence, Atomic, Gerber, as we said, the naming right. TT Lures, Lure Fans, Strike Pro, Mortgage Corp, Hubby Polarized, Pro Lure, Cranka, JML, and as everyone knows, we have our Hobie dealer network throughout Australia who provide uh, very essential support, keep these guys on the water um, and going. Now, this particular weekend, the anglers are fishing for cash and sponsors packs. Um, I would assume that you're in the plus $2,000 range for first place. And since it's a 90 plus round, the checks go down to 10th place. Now, anglers over this two this w two days of weekend, Saturday and Sunday, had to cash three fish per session, three on Saturday, three t um, today. And the heaviest bag over the two-day period determines the overall winner. We're chasing yellowfin brim, and they must be 26 to the tip, and that way they're always state legal limit plus 10 centimeters. The fish are actually caught and kept into a live well that's full of water and re recirculating, and the back of the live wells... They come up to the bump tub, give them another drink of water and some oxygen. We call them on stage, we weigh them, and we go from there. In addition to the cash and sponsors pack, they are also chasing angler of the year points. And those determine the Australian team for Hobie Fishing Worlds. We're actually into series number eight in that uh, program. And this particular world year, uh, we're on the Gold Coast um, in July for Hobie Fishing Worlds 8. Um, Frogley's Offshore is a tackle distributor in Australia, and they have a lure called Atomic, a whole range of lures, and they, we have the Atomic Big Brim. That big fish over the two-day period is going to be $100. It's currently leading at 1.52 kilos for that brim, and it is Philip Lever. He's from New South Wales. Did he ever show up yet? He's not showed up yet. That's a shocker. Anyway, anyway. Um, they're also tasting the Mortgage Corp um, Monster Mover. And what that is, Mortgage Corp is a great company, provides information on superannuation, house restructuring, loan restructuring, just fantastic financial advice. Neil Carster's and his team service all of Australia, and they've been a proud sponsor of Hubby Fishing Series for a long time. So the Mortgage Corp Monster Mover is really, if you've improved from day one to day two, you're going to walk away with a fantastic prize for him. Um, all the key tags had to be on the board by 2 o'clock. That's a safety return. We've got one angler. We couldn't find him. We phoned him up, found out, yes, he is. We know where he's at. And with that, we can go ahead and start proceedings. I'll just cover some of the top five. Um, in fifth place is um, 2.44 kilos is Mitchell Madison. In fourth place from the ACT, he had a cracker of a brim yesterday at 1.47 kilos. Lead brig brim for a little while. Uh, Simon McGuire, he was in fourth place. Third place, 2.66. New South Wales, Philip Lever had big brim at 1.52. I think that penalty is going to knock him around a little bit. Third place, uh, he's obviously just weighed in and bumped him up a bit, but a bit of there's uh, Aaron Williams, so you're looking good there, Aaron. And without doubt, yesterday, the, uh, the outstanding bag of the round was Chris Hickson. He came on stage with a 1.45 kilo brim for one of his fish, weighed in 3.36 kilos for three fish, and um, he still maintained that lead. Just to give you an idea of the lead he has, 10th place is Carl Dubois, and he had, um, I believe it was 2.10 kilos. So we've asked some of the leaders to weigh in last to take and uh, put a bit of fun into this and we'll get things there mr hansen come on up 
wrong guy, wrong Hanson. Big Hanson coming up. I was going to say, first timer. Can't be. He's been here forever. <laughs> I just got to find a microphone. Right there it is. And we've got to turn it on the bottom. Hit the button. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. No, no. Hit this button. There. It goes green. One fish. What happened? Couldn't find him. Couldn't find him. It, we were in the water quite a bit today, and it was a tougher bite without question. Maybe the full moon. Maybe you guys caught all the fish yesterday. I don't know. One fish is .71. You're leading the Masters Division. Thank, Thank you. For those who are familiar, not familiar with our series, we have the Open Division, which everyone's in. We have a Women's Division, a Youth Division, which is 16 to 21. We have a Masters and also a uh, Grand Masters uh, inside of this. Trent Rogers, Nick, won yesterday. Three fish today could be in the running for the Monster Mover. Most improved from day one to day two. You did something different. Uh, no, pretty much the same. Just got them out this you time. You got them out this time. You got them out of the racks. So they're there. You just got them out. All right, let's buzz through it. We had 80 people to cycle through yesterday. Those three fish are going to come in at 1.48. Puts you into 15th place. Well done. What a glamorous weekend, too. I think the highs in the uh, 19th, 2021 20, at some stage today. Jeffrey Howe won yesterday, three today. You did something different. How are you, mate? Yeah, not too bad. Um, yeah, no, pretty much did the same thing. Just found him today. Found him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's a start. Yeah. Perfect. That's what we want to see. It adds up at the end of the year for those points, 1.17. Thank you and hope you enjoyed your weekend. Thank you. Chris Miller, three yesterday, 1.68. Needs a substantial bag today to get into the checks. Better. 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 Now, this is your first time here? It is. Yep. What a fishery. Beautiful place. Oh, Everything. Right. Every type of fishing you could ask for. All right. Let's see. You need 1.69 to take the lead. Oh, I've got it. You've got that. Uh -huh. You've got a long line behind you, but that's good. 2.01, first place. Winning. Quick, someone take a photo in the lead of the board there. <laughs> Thank right. you. Thanks, mate. Well done. <laughs> uh, I love it. From South Australia, never been here before. That shows you how it is. Jason Reed. The only thing he had good yesterday was his wife had a beer and a chocolate bar waiting for you. So <laughs> he did. And Sweet. you have one today, yeah. so that's a start. Did you still get the beer? Yeah. Oh, well, it's all right. beer and jockey waiting. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> Life is good. Fish and beer. One fish, point six zero. Well sir. done. Cheers. The biggest thing is he gets points. You get zero fish on both days. You just might as well stay at home muddle on. Just kidding. Ruth Beebe's next in the women's division. One yesterday, one today, shaking her head. Yeah, not exactly what I wanted. Not what you wanted. No. But you got some points. Yes. And you got a fish. Yeah. Yep. Dropped a lot. <laughs> dropped a lot. All right. Does it bigger than yesterday? No. It is not. 0. 0.31. <laughs> we don't have the... In. There you go. All right. Well, good luck. Who we got next? Luke um, Atkinson. Didn't see Luke yesterday. Another guy that could be in the running for the Mortgage Corp Monster Mover. Glamour day on the water, wasn't it? Yeah, it was fun. A bit glassy this morning. I think there's a lot of anglers who want a little bit more breeze. But I tell you what, for the middle of May, we're all wearing shorts. Life's good. Yeah, it's good. Excellent. 1.22 kilos. Cheers well fun. done, Matty. Great to see you over from day one over to day number two. Billy Woods. Billy also helps us out at the Australian Fishing Championships, and he's also helping us out at the Hobie Fishing Worlds 8 on the Gold Coast. I think you're looking forward to that event. I am, very much. It's, uh, we get all the internationals here, and it's, it's pretty good. A lot of them don't speak English, but they are just good anglers. And seeing good anglers is just fun to watch catching oh, yeah. fish. It's going to be a great time. It is. Two fish going to come in at .77. Well done, Matty. Okay, thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate Billy coming up, bringing his boat. He's uh, doing the start line with Matt Petri. Luke Rogan, last year's winner. Took home, I think, just short of $2,000. Had an okay bag yesterday at 2.21. You need a good bag today. Ah, not, not enough. A little bit less than yesterday, I think. You need 1.49 to take the lead. We could have a new leader. I'm pretty positive of that. 2.17. Put your hands in it. Come on. we got to start up somewhere. New leader on there. Thank you. Where would you fish today? Uh, Brisbane Waters. 
The same place as yesterday. What were you throwing all weekend? Uh, crank crabs and gulp crabbies. Gulp crabbies. There you go. Old Thank school. You. Thank you. The winner last year. We'll see how he fares. Mr. Crib. Great day yesterday. A bit of a setback this morning. We had to do a pit stop. We had to change four wheels and a bearing <laughs> or something. Got you going, refueled it, and you went back out. Yeah, that's pretty much how it started. So. Yeah, we were like the Ford team. You rolled in, we changed the wheels, and got you back out. So I appreciate the help. There you guys. go. Thanks for getting me back it's, on the water. That was, that was as fast as we could do it. Three fish kind of come in at 1.33. Better than yesterday. Puts you into seventh place. Thanks. Thank you. Well done. We had the air ratchet going in that pit stop. Guy Struthers is next from Queensland. How are you, sir? Uh, it'd be better if there was a third, but oh well, that's fishing. Did you only catch two today, or how many did you catch? Um, I probably caught about six, but a lot of small fish and real timid bites. A couple of good estuary perch, which I thought were good fish, but yeah, come out just... Well, my eyesight's pretty bad. You might try to snuck him. I don't know. <laughs> if only. Brisbane waters? It's an awesome fishery. It is. Two fish. Going to come in at point six seven. Well done, and thank you for making the journey. Thank you. You don't know how much it, it uh, means to us for coming here, set these things up for you guys from all these different states to come and support these events. Anthony Steers, when we saw him last time, he had two, and you still have two. How are you, sir? Uh, yeah, okay. Couldn't just get that one? No, they won today. Stayed on that bridge for a little bit longer? Stayed on the bridge for a while, and yeah. Jim and I pulled up there yesterday. I'm going, no one is on this bridge, and we knew this is always sometimes a good spot. Yeah, just pulling them out of there is the problem. I know. Everyone's having that same problem today. 1.10. Thank you very much. Thanks. Everyone's had to downsize all their leader so that uh, it's, the fish can't see it, and it comes at a cost of getting them out of the structure. Neville Enright, we saw him early in the day, three fish for 1.23. You got a better bag today? Yeah, a lot better. That's better? What would you do different? Just went to where I knew they were. What were you throwing today? Just a little vibe. little vibe? There you go. You need 3.16 to take the lead. That's not <laughs> going to happen, but it's going to get you up there considerably. Perfect 1.93, fifth place so far. Thank you. Thank you. For those of you who are watching at home, you cannot see how long these lines are. So these lines just keep going for miles. Yesterday was, I think, 80 out of a 90-plus weighed-in fish. It's a tribute to how good this fishery is. Mark Thompson is next. Okay, bag yesterday, three fish for 1.72. One today. You're on stage, you're getting points, but I know that's not what you wanted. No. No, I've got heaps that were like 25. 25. A lot of small fish. Radio. Excellent. Point four zero. Well done, mate. Thank you very much. Perfect. Well done. And English, when you come up, you can put the microphone on your chin, then everybody can hear you. Zachary Morozov, come on up. No, here's this guy's. Yeah, yeah. Two fish yesterday. Three today, yes. That's okay. Yeah. Where'd you get these? Uh, just before Kincumber. Just okay. fished the, fish the racks, upgraded a couple of times. And what were you fishing? What lures were you throwing? Uh, mostly crabbies. Crabbies today. Any yeah. color? Uh, camo in twos and 2.5. There we go. That's a much better bag for day number two. 1.87 kilos. Puts you into third place. Thank you. You needed three yesterday. He works at uh, Australian Bass Angler. They're in Penrith, probably one of the best bass stores I've seen anywhere in Australia. How are you, sir? Good, thanks. Good. That's better? Yeah, a little bit better than yesterday, but... It's okay. Get rid of this way. What a top day on the water, though. That was beautiful. Beautiful winter yeah, fishing. 1.33. You improved, which is great. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Luke Rogan from Queensland is leading. He was last year's winner at 3.38. Daniel Lawton, three yesterday at 1.81. One today, it just didn't happen today? No, I uh, had trouble with my live well okay. uh, first stuff, so I had to release a 27-centimeter brim. All right. Rather have it, have it stress out let it go. Yeah, that's fair enough. So. 0.52. I just bucket some water in and fill the live well with the bucket, and they live and keep going. <laughs> Johnny's and all. GZ. I know, everyone laughs at me. I grew up on three names, Smith, Jones, and... Yeah, easy ones. <laughs> That's all I know. One today, mate. Yeah. I thought of anyone who yeah. could pull three today. Yeah, I thought so too. 
<laughs> just <laughs> no, didn't happen. I caught him. It's just not me. Uh, yeah. Everyone's having that. That's okay. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you, Steve. Great to see him on stage. He lets me a... Brett Crow last year got big brim here, 1.23 kilos, I think it is. South Coast, New South Wales, three yesterday, three today. That's what you need to do, consistency. Thank you. That's better. Awesome. Jeez. Yeah. Where'd you get those? Good day. A uh, long way from here. I can come uh, back. A long way. How far did it take you to get there? How long? Uh, about 45 minutes. 45. That's not too bad. Yeah, you yeah. need 2.37 to take the lead. You had big brim last year at 1.23 kilos. Does he have? Boom! 2.52. Come on, make some noise. Well done. All right, where did you catch him on and what did you catch him with? Um, up at um, Empire Bay, um, a combination of the squidgy biotuffs in, um, in pumpkin seed with the, the fish profile and, um, and, and black and white pro lures. Did you want to weigh one for Big Brim? Sorry. Yeah, I will if you don't mind. Yeah. It won't make it. but It doesn't just, matter. Just curiosity. I take the mic. You, you take, take the bag. That's how it works. That's it. Work cover. There was probably a dozen brim that didn't get weighed in yesterday, and they were all over a kilo, but the, the, when you start with 1.45, it's hard. Let's see where this lands you. It's a nice woi woi fishing. Perfect. 1.12 kilos. Nice fish. you got to be happy with that. Yeah. wasn't as big as last year's, but still. I tell you what, the fish are probably the healthiest I've seen in any waterway right now, and we do a lot of traveling. These are very, very healthy fish up here. Um, Stuart Kennedy's next. We didn't see Stuart yesterday. Two today, that's a good thing. On stage gets you points, and also that means there's no donuts, which is a zero. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, not too bad. A bit better today? Oh, yeah, a bit better. Couldn't crack the pattern. But, well, you cracked two of them. Not too shabby. 0.76. Well done, Matty. Great to see you on stage. I really enjoy seeing people who don't make it on day one make it on day two. Craig Wallace won yesterday and two today. Three today. Just trying to catch up with the boys down there. Much better. That's all right. Yeah, a bit better, mate. There you go. Three fish. 1.28. Fantastic. Thanks, well mate. done. The line is still way around the corner. <coughs> Josh Quartz is next. Works for The Life Aquatic. They're a hobby specialist dealer up in Mona Vale, Northern Beaches. On stage today, that's a good thing. How are you? Very well, Steve. How but better you? today, you're on stage. Yeah, I've managed to find a pattern today, but I uh, couldn't find the third fish, so. That's okay. You've worked it out. What a waterway, though, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic up here. 1.42, that's where we keep yeah. coming back. Thanks, Steve. Thank you. It's, uh, the town enjoys having us here. We bring a lot of funding to the area, which is good. And um, Lex Forbes, how are you? Good, thanks, mate. On stage twice, two days in a row. Unbelievable. That's good. That's good. Well done, Matty. He's in the Masters division. That's 60 to 64. That weighed at 0.60. Thanks, Mark. Fantastic. So right now in that division, he's leading. Perfect. Uh, Peter Blazen. 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 Victoria. N didn't see him yesterday. Man, he's worked it out. That's good. How are you, Matty? Good, thank you. Perfect. Much better. Stay connected today. Oh, there you go. That helps. 0.44. Well done, Matty. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. Let's have a bit of a look. It's still down all the way to the water's edge. A lot of people got fish. John Ellis is in the uh, is next. He's in the Grand Masters, 64 and over. Sorry, 65 and over. We didn't see you yesterday, but you got one today. That's good. And I'm just over 64. You're just over. You're probably... In some months. In some days and hours, probably only. <laughs> Perfect. Good day in the water, wasn't it? Oh, beautiful. Yep, 0.45. Well done, Matty. Excellent. Again, he's in his own division as well as the Open. Paul Hardiman from the ACT. Three yesterday. Not a bad bag. 1.52. You need just over three kilos to take the lead. Nah. <laughs> that was a very confident no. Yeah, no, not even close, Steve. Not That's today. okay. Let's have a look here. <laughs> Be lucky to have a kilo. Just <laughs> over 1.04. Well done, mate. Thanks, Dave. Yep, great day on the water. Perfect to see. Jason Meach is next. 
Okay, bag yesterday, 1.26 for three. Jason's a very consistent angler. Three again. How are you, Marty? Yeah, not bad. A bit better than yesterday. Jeez, a lot better. Yeah, yeah. Found him today. <laughs> what lures are you throwing today? Um, pro lure, sink vibe. Sink uh, vibe? Just went deep. Never fish it and just went deep and found him. So. Early on? All day. All yeah, day. Caught plenty. Here we go. This is a nice bag. Definitely going to help his results. Perfect. 2.21. Puts him up into fifth place. Well done, Jason. Thank you. Excellent. Current leader is still Brett Crow from the South Coast, New South Wales at 4.54 kilos. Last year's winner, Luke Rogan from Queensland at 4.38. Crafty Miller from South Australia in third at 3.69 kilos. And Zachary Morzoff from uh, New South Wales working for Australian Bass Angler, fourth at 3.56. And right at the top five, as you just saw, Jason Meach um, is at 3.47. Terry Grimmer is next. Three fish yesterday, three today. Terry's been fishing our series early on, come back again, and uh, a very consistent angler. Three for three, mate. That's what you start with. You know that? That's the drill, Steve. How are you, mate? Good, thank you. And how are you? Good. That's okay. Good bag. That's all right. Here we go. Three fish going to come in at 2.09. Puts him into third place for now. Thank you very much, Thanks, Steve. Thanks, mate. Well done. Byron Hill, okay bag yesterday, needs a 3.20 kilos. No, but that's not uh, bad. 3.1 maybe, 3.3, no. <laughs> All right, no way, no. here we go. <laughs> 1.77, not too shabby, brought you up into the top 10. Thank you. Thank you. Fan club, over there. Francis Matina, I think... Um, Great bag yesterday, three for 1.98. Were you ahead of him yesterday? I was just ahead of him Did yesterday. Did you remind yeah. him of that? Absolutely. Absolutely. So father and son, not bad bag, not bad. Here we go. Yeah, I think a bit better than yesterday. Yes, you did. 2.15. Perfect. Puts him into third place. How'd you go to the boy today? I don't know. I actually haven't seen him all day. So he's hiding fish. from you. Yeah. He's, he's stressed out. Danny Jobson. Three yesterday, not a bad bag, just short of two kilos at 1.98. You need two and a half to knock someone off here. No, a little bit shorter. A little bit shorter. All right. Let's see if we can get you into the checks. Top 10 would be nice. 1.47, eighth place for now. For well now. done, matey. Thank you. <laughs> I just see how the line, the line just doesn't, it never ends. What an amazing place. Zeter Zeter. Didn't see him yesterday. I was wondering where you were. How are you? Pretty good, thanks. And you got fish, good. Yeah, got one. Let's give this a bro. 0.47, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, mate. David Shanahan from Victoria. Three yesterday, probably very small fish for yesterday. One today. It just didn't happen for you. No. Nah. That's okay. You ready for next year? You'll know a little bit better? Uh, I tried to fish the um, the jetties today, very okay. for Queensland, so well, better improve some, That's some right. stage. Thanks, mate. Well done. Made the journey across from Victoria. Robert Chambers, Grand Masters Division. One yesterday, one today. Consistent. Consistent. <laughs> That's it. You just blew your chances for the mortgage corp. <laughs> oh, dear. All right. Consistency is good. Great day, though. Oh. Glamour, yeah, 0.67. Beautiful. Thank you very much. It's one of the better fishing days we've had in a long time. It's either cold miserably or blowing dogs off chains. <clears throat> Blake Partington next, one yesterday, one again today. It's a three fish comp. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Bit of a problem. <laughs> it's all right. You can work it out. It's always hard fishing a waterway. I've never fished before. It is. It is a challenging one, which is good. 0.35. I think it's, too, it's such a massive waterway. There's yeah, so much here. That's it. Thanks, Marty. Well done. Great to see him on stage. Bags on a birthday. Luke K. I could hear Luke from here today at one stage. Really? Yeah, when he dropped that fish. <laughs> so three yesterday for 1.94 kilos. We saw you yesterday morning. We pulled up. You only had one. You got two. 
We saw you again this afternoon, and you finally got that third fish. Still fishing that same area? Look, I stayed there till about half past ten, and then I came back up river, come under the bridge, and just fished some boat holes and and got some better fish there. Rumor has it you dropped a nice one. Uh, yeah. Look, let's we, not talk we heard about it from that. here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, All right. Good buds. Let's see where you end up. We need to get you into the checks. That's the top ten. One point eight five fourth place. Cool. Might be there for long. Well, Good I don't know. Coming, so I don't know. It's fishing really well. Okay, it's good. It's good. I'll have to say it is fishing amazingly well. <laughs> Richard Smith, two yesterday, two today. It's all right. It's <laughs> tough going. It is tough going, but you got fish. Yeah. I think it was 20 people who did not get fish yesterday. I hear there's some big bags behind everybody, which is good. Two fish going to come in at point seven six. Well done. Hope you enjoyed the weekend. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Lots of new faces this year. That makes it very interesting and fun for all of us, which is good. James Hayes is next. Two yesterday, two today. I almost thought it was a Trevally for a second there. Uh, okay. Someone's an playing with me. <laughs> it is. Albino. That's all right. Did you get to have an aquarium somewhere? No, no. Just, no. Kid, just kidding. He's been in the live world for three weeks. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Point <laughs> eight seven. Uh, no comment. <laughs> but that was funny, though. I did like that. That's good. All right, who we got? We got a lot of bags to cycle through. Shane Ferris, another guy we didn't see, but we get today, which is fantastic, and three fish. You could be in the run for the Monster Corp Monster Mover. Thanks, mate. Much better. Thanks, What did you do different? Oh, just racks. Just racks. Mm. Okay. There you go. Three fish. Let's see if he does it. 1.01 kilos. Fantastic, mate. Thanks, mate. Well done. Love seeing guys weigh in fish, especially when they miss out on day number one. Makes the drive home a lot easier to take. Paul Bonham is next. Two yesterday, three today. How are you, sir? Good. Fantastic hoodie, too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Much better. Got that third fish finally. Yeah. Perfect. Three fish going to come in at 1.21 kilos. Well done, mate. Excellent. Thank you. Being consistent is good. Warren Allen is next. He took a bit of break. Good to see him back. Three yesterday. Small bag at 1.36. Does he have it a little bit better today? Yeah, a bit bigger today. Much better today. How's it feel to be back on the water fishing in the kayaks? Good? Yeah, I enjoyed it. Had, yeah, had a good day today. Yeah, yeah, had the back hold up, all right? Yeah, it's fine. Perfect. There we go. Three fish. Going to come in at 1.57. Fantastic. Puts you into 14th place so Thank far. You. Aaron Inright. Three yesterday. Decent bag, 2.10. Yes, I felt you need about 2.8 on day one to be in the top three. I think we're pretty close. How are you? You were tied with Carl DeBar. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's a bit of an ordinary day today, but... Uh, wheels fell off? Yeah. <laughs> All right, there's always next comp. Always next comp. One nice. fish, 0. 0.61. Well done, Perfect. mate. I'm glad to see you made the comp. It's great to see a lot of people who haven't seen for a long, long time come in here. Who we got next? Paul Gann? Another guy we didn't see yesterday. Two today. That's good. That's a good thing. How are you, sir? Not too bad, thanks. Good, good. On stage, perfect. Getting some points. Certainly do. That's what it's all about. One fish at point nine nine. Fantastic. Great to see you on stage. Thank you. Beats going home with donuts. <clears throat> Mr. Happy, Andrew Hancock is next. Three fish yesterday for 1.75. How are you? I'm great. Same place yesterday? Yep. All right, let's see how we go. I couldn't find you today. 1.39 kilos. Well done, mate. I was hiding, mate. I know it. Tell you. Thanks, mate. And he's one of very consistent anglers throughout the year. It's great to see you here. Sean Hill is next. Three yesterday for 1.74. Only two today. Toting the Australian Fishing Championship shirt. How are you, mate? Yeah, could be better, mate. That's, that's all right. Let's have a look here. Where we're at. Two are going to come in at one zero. Exactly. That's it. One kilo. Nice right. and neat. 
Tom McLean is next. Three yesterday, not bad. Cracked the two kilo for three. Only two today, though. Oh, yeah, that's going to hurt. How are you, Mike? Yeah, it does hurt. <laughs> Where'd you travel today? Uh, about six kilometers, so okay. I don't know if it's worth the travel, but uh, it was a good day. All right, perfect. The two fish are going to come in at point seven nine. Well done. Great to see you on stage. Perfect. I'll have that bit. Stephen Pryke is next. He's uh, sponsored by the Frogley Offshore Group and mainly through the atomic lure side of the company. Three yesterday, light bag, three today. I reckon you're going to better, yes? Yeah, that's a lot better today. A lot better. Mate, you needed those yesterday. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. Now, where'd you fish today? Um, I've honestly got no clues. First time being here, there's some docks down that way, and pretty much that's where I hung around for the whole weekend. Well, what did you fish today? What lures? Uh, so a combination of cranks and lightly weighted plastics. Okay, here we go. Much better bag on day number two. 2.28 kilos puts him into seventh place. Well done, matey. Thank you. Great bag. <coughs> Chris Hickson was leading coming in today. He had three fish for 3.36 kilos. Brennan, how are you, sir? Good, thanks. <laughs> What'd you do different? I actually caught fish. Oh, much I better. Big ones. You need 2.87 to take the lead. Let's see where, that's a nice fish. And we're gonna weigh that for Big Brim? No. All right, those three fish, 2.65 puts happy him up that. in the third. You gotta be happy with that. Well done. That's at least a kilo fish in there. Like I said yesterday, because Chris Hickson weighed in a 1.45, people who had under that didn't weigh in. There'd probably be about 15 or 20 fish were brought to stage that were over a kilo, like that one that didn't weigh in. Ben Harrison from South Australia made the journey across. There's a lot of guys doing a lot of miles. Do it. Three fish yesterday for 2.06 kilo. Only two today. You can do this. You'll need 2.49 kilos. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. Nah. You enjoyed your fishing, though? Uh, a little frustrating. But lots of bust-offs, and I'm just, yeah. But it was a nice fishery. Yeah, I like coming here. So it's it good, is a good yeah. spot. All right, two fish going to come in at 1.11 kilos. Not too shabby. 14th no place for the journey from South Australia. Adriano Tosalin. Two yesterday for 1.45, which is not a bad bag. Yeah, two today, it went bag. down. <laughs> it's, it's gone down. I didn't want to say that. <laughs> but that's, that's all right. It's all right. Bang, 0.64. It, they're all points. Uh, you got points. It's all about the points. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Well done. Like I said, a lot of these guys are chasing angle of the year points to make the Australian team. Last year, we were in Amal, Sweden, chasing pike. These are nearly meter to two meter pike. This year, we're bringing all the internationals to the Gold Coast just for some finesse fishing for brim. It'll be quite interesting. Colin DiMatino, 1.96 for three. You're not going to take the lead, but this is going to help you. Did you beat the old man, you think? Don't think so. Oh. Hey, I, I, my mic's... What do you say? What was, I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. Just, did you hear that? Okay. Father-son combo. 1.88. Did he do it? No. He didn't do it. No. Oh, oh. The good news is you have a very short drive home. Unlike when you won at Nelson and had to... Yeah. There you go. Thank you Thank very you. much. Well done. Uh, <laughs> but lots of stops on the way to reminisce about how dad showed him how to fish. There you go. Andrew Deeth yesterday, three for 1.50. Do you have three kilos for me? I have three and a half if I kept them all. <laughs> all right. So, all, right. Uh, all right. Little guys. Little guys. A lot of. Uh, there seems of to be little fish and then yeah. big fish. Yeah. Funny how that works. Point 1.26, currently into 21st. Just outside the check. <laughs> Just outside. But it was close. Mark Young and fan club. Good bag yesterday. Three for 2.21. You need 2.34 to take the lead. Yeah, nah. Be lucky to have 1.5. Hello. Hopefully. What's your name? Jackson Young. What is it? Jackson Young. Jackson Young. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Here you go. Here's Daddy's Fish. Watch the scale. Boom. 1.40 puts him up into Boom. ninth place. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well done, mate. Good to see ya. Righty yo. James Kilpatrick. Three yesterday for 1.23. You need 3.3 kilos. Now, James is a Hobie dealer 
up the coast here in Belmont, Hunter Water Sports. Tell us a little bit about that. Uh, we've got the Hobie dealership up on Lake Macquarie at Belmont. Okay. Uh, and selling kayak stuffs. Okay. Sort of gear. What time, what are your hours during winter? Uh, we're there from 9 till 5, Monday to Friday, and then finish up at 3.30 on a Saturday. There you go. Perfect. Three fish going to come in at 1.62 kilos. Fantastic. Thank you. Well done. Can you guys put your hands together for James for all the hard work of getting all these things going? Well done. Do the support. I like it. Paul Dunlap. One fish and a late penalty. Just thought I'd throw that in. <laughs> How are you? Good. i got to roll it up. I bent both masks, Steve. Does that count? Now I'm going to give you more of a penalty. <laughs> there you, you go. 0.45. Thank you. Minus another 0.45. <laughs> All right. And we're getting down to the pointy end of the stick. Probably down to about 12 anglers with Chris Hickson leading yesterday at 3.16 kilo. Brent Denson is next. One yesterday, two today. That's good. Only one short. That's all right. That's better. One or all one there, so. It is. That's a cracker. Fish the racks today? No, nah, just on boats. Just on boat holes. Yeah. There you go. 1.11. Well done, mate. Excellent. Great to see you on stage. Gordon Gammy is next. Gordon is on a run here. You know, he went for ages, would never come in on stage, and now you're just, you're, you're just a regular. How are you, mate? Good. Fourth day in a row now. Fourth, t fourth time on stage. Yep. This is good. One fish for 0.36. Ooh, Smashed it. So that's all right. You're just outside the checks. Just outside the checks, all right? You're just probably one or two fish away. Jack Gammy, who used to be his teacher. How are you, mate? Good, thank yourself. That's a, yeah, that's okay. a bit light on from your side of thing. Now, you stayed off that point for a while? Yeah, I've pretty much fished there all weekend. So. What lures are you throwing today? Uh, mainly Hurricane Blades, Samaki Vibaliciouses, and Eco Gear Blades as well. Any particular colour pattern on those that worked? No, it's more of a flash sort flash of thing. thing. Yeah. Okay. Three fish come in at 1.75, puts you into ninth. You. Are you going to hang in there for a check? He's saying no. All right. We're getting down to the last six or so. Kane Terry, two yesterday, three today. Saw so him fishing some holes. How are you, mate? Good. That's better. Yeah, better than yesterday. Yeah, definitely better <laughs> than yesterday, without question. Do you stay in holes most of the day? Or? I'd fish deep all day. Fish deep all day. There you go. 1.64 kilos. Much better day today for sure. Martin Gittens is next. Oh, look out. People on TV, just get ready, all right? That's right. No yesterday. There's three. Are you serious? You got three? No way. You did. I reckon I've got this this weekend, Ed. I reckon you did, right? <laughs> <laughs> well done. Right. You're just, this it? Um, you've worked it. You've cracked the pattern, as they say. You've cracked the pattern. All right. Three fish going to come in at 1.36 kilos. Maybe that scales out, eh? <laughs> <laughs> well, we can try it if you want. And if it weighs lighter again, you take the new light. Well done. <laughs> uh, Mitch King, three yesterday, three today. Yeah, a little bit better. Not, um, not what I wanted. Not the, what, I think I needed like four kilos or something. You did. That's a not... <laughs> Nice bag. Tell you, if Hickson hadn't got that cracker bag up front, it had been. It's all right. Let's see how we go. Not too shabby. Two point uh, zero eight. Thirteenth place in there. Ooh, there you go, mate. Well done. Mitchell Madison. Good bag yesterday, 2.44 kilos for three from New South Wales. You need 2.11 to take the lead. Oh, I'm going to go under that. Well under that. Two oh, squeakers. He just, his mates. Yeah. He needed his friends. Couldn't do it. All right. That gets you into the lead. Now we're going to get you into checks. Top 10 is a payout. Going to come in at 1.76, puts you into fourths. 
with about a half a dozen people left. Uh -oh. It's going to be close. Well done. Last year, we had less of a crowd. I think it was like um, $2,000 payout. I think we've got a good payout here today. Yes, I can see that. Winner is going to take home a very handsome check. Jonathan Chin, good bag yesterday, 2.27. Fishing off the points a little bit. Same today? Yes, same today. Our deep blading. Much better bag. Well, hopefully. Pontoon 21 lure? Yes. And what color was it? Um, so it's a silver with orange belly. So. Okay. And they were actually getting it on the drop. On the drop. So the pretty much you had to keep a tight line so you could feel it. And yep. then try and hit them when they whack All it. All right. 2.28 to take the lead. I don't think that's happening. Close? No. <laughs> All right. What has he got? Yeah, right. 2.43 <laughs> kilos. Well done. No winner. Make some noise. Well done, Mighty. Thanks. Thank you. <coughs> the area they're fishing, there's lots of pinkies, but the bottom is very broken up rock, and it seems to be holding fish. Russell Babacule. Okay, bag yesterday, 2.27. You need 2.44. Nah, no, nowhere near it. Um, much tougher day today. I uh, only really had one opportunity on a really big one and, and lost him. And apart from that, I had bugger all. And with about half an hour to go, I pedaled from here all the way back to St. Hubert's Island and, and got one nice one off a uh, pontoon. Let's see if we can get him to a check. Needs 2.44 to take the lead. 2.17 puts him into third place with about a half a dozen to go. Well done, Russell. Excellent, excellent. Well done, Glenn Allen. A little bit short yesterday. 1.79. I kind of felt you need 2.5. You need 2.92 kilos. No, <laughs> no way. Ah, uh, still. Nice bag. Yeah, it's not too Did bad. Did you fish racks today? No, I done something different and went and fished the deep all day. Deep water all day. There was a bit of a car park up there for a while. 2.92 is not going to happen. We're going to get two kilos. Is 2.01 puts you into ninth place, okay. just on Thank the you. edge of checks. Rightio, Phil Lever had big brim until the late penalty at 1.54 was currently in second place. You need 2.05. Yeah, no way. It's a really tough day today. Lost a couple of big ones. Um, couldn't put them in the boat. Mike, a little bit closer so I can hear you. Just said I lost a couple of big ones. Couldn't put them in the boat. You've got to be happy with yesterday. Yeah. Knowing that it's there. Yeah, it was a great day yesterday. Good and fun. you'll cut yourself all the way home. So that's <laughs> all right. Two fish. 0. 0.73. Well done, Matty. Thank you. Great effort. Put your hands together. Big brim on day one. Definitely worth it. That was fantastic. Ryland at Sandsbury is next. He's in the youth division, 16 to 21. Leading yesterday at 2.03 kilos. How are you, sir? Yeah, pretty good. That's had okay. A, had an okay day, but got... Roasted by two good ones. So. I don't have Cullen's single weight, so I can't quite tell, but I'll know when it populates. 1.64 kilo puts you into 14th place. Thank you very much. Thank you. Perfect. I'll have the mic. Simon Morley, good bag yesterday, 2.31 kilos, three today. You caught a few more after we left? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Got probably one and one other upgrade. So, okay. But you need 2.4. Lucky to go 1.4. Oh, I'm saying 1.8. A little bit light, 1.53, eighth place, still in the money. <laughs> still in the money with a handful of... Who's the last couple to go? Is it uh, two left? Carl Dubois, Sydney Latte Brigade. Decaf soy something, I don't know. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty good, except for that one 500 grammer. All right, that one 500 grammer. You need 2.52. I don't know. It'll be close. I don't think so, though. What do you reckon, Matty? 2.52 to take the lead. 2.66. I'll do me. All right, we'll get this next man up first. Thank Perfect. You, Thank you very much. That puts him up at 4.85 kilos, the new leader from New South Wales. 
Before he comes up, second place so far, that's Jonathan Chin from the ACT at 4.75 kilos. Brett Crow in third from the South Coast, New South Wales at uh, 4.50. Last year's winner had six fish for, I think, 4.56 kilos. Chris needs 1.5 kilos to take the lead. He had 3.36 yesterday. Let's have a look. I think he's got that. It's just how much more. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Not not quite as sprightly as yesterday, but still pretty happy. Um, you've obviously had a few upgrades since we saw you. Yeah, I just, just chipped away at them today. Hey, I'd go for ages with hardly a bite, and then I'd get two or three bites in a row, and if I got them, I got something like that. If I didn't, then, yeah, so be it. But it was just... So unpredictable this weekend. I'd, like places that I've never caught fish or haven't caught fish for a long time, I was getting bit, and, and the gimmies were not producing at all. So pretty happy to do it. Mainly racks? No, I fished mainly racks, but I got them kind of everywhere. One of my biggest ones yesterday was actually off a weed flat up in Kingcomer Bay. Um, one of those fish was off a mangrove this morning, like an overhanging with some shags. And, yeah, just I concentrated on poles and racks and wharves, but they were kind of a bit of everywhere. We're going to weigh this also for Big Brim, just for the heck of it? Nah, it's not even close. All right, here we go. Needs 1.5. That's a no-brainer. See, where are we at? We're six fish. Consistency all the way through. 2.69 kilos. Six kilos breaks the bag. Six kilos. Make some noise. We're going to do some calculations, and we'll get you guys back on stage for the presentation. Cheers, mate. Well done, Chris Hickson. Give us about two minutes. We're just going to push some buttons. We'll come back on the way and get the checks underway. We'll also need James Kilpatrick to uh, come up with the presentation. Thank you.
two two. Anyone seen a James Kilpatrick? We'll get to James on stage here. About two minutes, James. Two minutes. Okay, we're back. We're going to get stuck into the uh, presentations. I just have here um, James Kilpatrick from um, Hunter Water Sports up in Belmont. Um, again, you've been a hobby there for how many years now? Uh, I think it's about seven now. Seven years. That's good, good. And you also do demonstrations for any of the people who want to come and try a CAC out? Yeah, anyone that wants to try any of the hobby products can come up to the store. We do it by appointment, so yeah, okay. just let us and know. And what's your address up there? Uh, we're 638 Pacific Highway, Belmont. That's it. And you got a website? We sure do, hws.com.au. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll start off with the uh, divisions first. And uh, if he's still here in the first timers is uh, Paul Bonham. Paul, are you still around? Don't seem. We'll cycle back through this. In the Grand Masters uh, is Tom McLean. Tom packing up as well. Oh, here he comes. Well done. We'll get the Grand Masters prize. You want to find that over there in the thing? GM. And you're the camera guy? Yes. We've got a new camera guy. Perfect. Well done. In the Masters division, uh, 60 to 64, is Gary Hansen. Four fish for 1.98. Gary, here he comes. In the women's division from Victoria, we have Ruth Beebe. Come on up, Ruth. Fan club. <laughs> and his only success this weekend in the youth division, just <laughs> is Colin D. Matina. Six fish for 3.84. <laughs> I had to do it. You just got to do these things. <laughs> now we're going to go for the monster mover and you're going to do this one monster mover is someone who's improved the best over a two-day period and josh courts josh are you around where's josh he's gone. oh there we go at zero Ooh, he's gone he had zero fish on day one and he got uh two fish for 1.42 that's going to get him the monster movers magic mushrooms just kidding <laughs> Well done, mate. Good to see you on stage from the Life Aquatic. Big Brim. 1.47 kilos. Simon McGuire from the... I thought it was in the ACT, but it says New South Wales. We'll take that. Well done, mate. Got the Big Brim trophy. That's $100 from Frogley's Offshore. <laughs> All right, let's get into the serious side of the business where people take home some money. We're going to start off into 10th place. 10th place for New South Wales, six fish for 3.84, taking home $170, Simon Morley. Where's Simon? Britt's got that spent already. They're all done. In ninth place, um, 
Six fish for 4.13, taking home $200, Francis D. Matina. He'll be running a fishing clinic later on for Cullen. In eighth place, six fish for 4.2 kilos. The weights are going up, and so is the money. $240, Mitchell Madison. Well done. That'll pay for those repairs. Just. Okay. In seventh place, big increase on day number two. We had uh, three on day one for 168. Three for 2.65 on day two. 4.33, $270 is Brendan Pichelle. Brendan, well done, mate. Where's he at? There he is. Got the Hunter Water Sports jersey. Sixth placed, last year's winner, who took home almost $2,000. Six fish for 4.38, $300 this year. Luke Rogan from Queensland made the journey up. Well done, or down in this case. In fifth place, very consistent angler, six for 4.44, $340 is Russell Babacule. He didn't have to burn a lot of fuel to get that today. That's a good one. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> well done, Russell. In fourth place, three fish for 2.02 in day one, three for 2.52 in day two, six fish for 4.50, taking home $400, Brett Crow. Well done. Crack of a bag on day two at 2.52. Third place from the ACT, consistent bag, six fish for 4.70, $870, John Chin from the ACT. Well done. And second place, three fish for 2.19 on day one, three for 2.66 on day two, six fish for 4.85, which would have won last year, taking home $1,350 is Carl Dubois. Would have, could have. It's all right. Second's only the first loser. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just like the fact that he would have won last year with that weight. He would have taken home the bacon. And day one, three fish for 3.36. Day two, three fish for 2.69. First got to crack the six kilo range, taking home $2,590, Chris Hickson. We're going to get the top three back on stage, if we could, please. You got a shake already? Done? There you go. Nice payday. Yeah, it's, it's actually quite handy because I've got to pay for some flights to Canada this week. So that's I, gonna I was going to say, what <laughs> trip are we paying for this week? <laughs> Canada later on. So, yeah, that'll definitely come in handy. Yeah, it's, um, to be honest, a bit of a surprise. I came into this one not pre-fishing again, as Babs and I normally do. And... Um, Last year I did pretty well here, but I actually came over for the Australian Open um, brim tournament in the boats and spent four hours over here in, probably fished more in those four hours than I can do in a day in the Hobie by far. Um, and I think I got one legal fish, two casts from the end. So I was coming in not expecting too much at all. I thought last year might've been a bit of a fluke, but, and to be honest, it, the last two days kind of were as well. I caught fish in places that I haven't caught fish for either a long time or never before or just really random sort of areas were holding good fish. So I think it was just more fishing bits and pieces of good structure that maybe have been overlooked. So I think that might have been the key to it this weekend. Where did you fish on day one? Day one and day two are the same or just... Uh, pretty much ran the same the same pattern, like the same um, distance. I headed down, straight down, I don't even know the name of the bay, uh, below the Rip Bridge. Fished my way down, fished into the racks there, into the boats in one of the bays across, and then paddled my way fishing all the way up into Kingcumber Bay. Um, got my last really good upgrade up there on a, on a little hard body on a flat, which was something I hadn't really fished all weekend. Uh, and then basically did the same thing today. I didn't make it quite as far because um, I had pretty good fish there and I didn't want to... If you had to poops. pick three lures this weekend that caught you the fish, what were those three lures? Um... Oh, all plastics, actually. Z-Man Grub... Krabby and Aqua. 
Aqua. Both, yeah, just the the two and a half inch Z Man Grub, if I was fishing a bit quicker and wanting to move through the structure, um, if it looked like a likely place and I needed something slow and smelly to float down, I'd throw a crabby. Um, and if there was a bird there, I'd throw an aqua because it looked like it shit. Does, shit. That's, that's yeah. all right. And your rods and reels and line classes you're using this particular one, a lot of the guys are getting busted off by going heavy, I mean, going light and then going too heavy and then getting the bite. I fished eight and 10 pound leader pretty much all weekend. Um, after getting bit on it in some places that you generally don't yesterday, I just thought that's it. I'll just tie it on most of my rods. Um, 10 pound most of the time and once that leader got chafed up a bit, I had a couple of backups with eight. Uh, the exception was I got that one on a crankbait up in King Cumber yesterday on two and a half pounds straight through. So that was a, a fairly stark contrast. But yeah, it didn't it didn't seem to, um, to affect it given I didn't catch a whole heap of fish this weekend. Yes. It might have put a few off. Uh, and I did have a lot of short bites, but yeah, it, it got the ones in that counted, so that's all that matters. Okay. What rods and reels you throw in this weekend? Uh, the the pick of them was a TD Zero. Uh, it's a six foot nine, two to five kilo, bit of a beast for in the racks. Um, it's not super stiff. It's still got a bit of action about it, but when you really stick it to them, it's got some grunt down there to drag them out. That one four five I had yesterday did a couple of backflips out of the water in the, on the way to the boat, so <laughs> on the way to the kayak. Um, and it's a catch twenty two. You go too heavy in a kayak, and then it starts dragging the kayak around as well. So you got to find a nice balance. Um, and then today I actually used a little uh, um, TD Black, uh, a whippet, so a little one yeah, to four sure. kilo, super light tip uh, to throw those light lures and then plenty of grunt down low to drag them out. Excellent, thanks, good. Put your hands together for this week's winner at uh, round six, Mr. Crick Six, fantastic. Cheers, mate. If we can get uh, the top three guys on stage, we can get some photos. Sorry? A oh, first timer, come on up. I've already forgot your name, but we'll get a photo. Beautiful. Uh, that's it. We found you. First comp, and you walk away with something. You'll be back. Where's Carl? And third. Oh, there we are. Sorry, you're over hiding. Come on up, get some photos. You can blame him. Not all right, Carl. Carl, can you have a bit of chat? And Jonathan, don't go away. Just going to talk to the second place um, winner is uh, Carl Dubois. Thanks, Steve. Strategies from day one to day two. Do anything different? No, uh, exactly the same. Where uh, did you fish on day one and day two then? I went up to the top and top. just uh, fished deep. I did hit the edges yesterday morning, but only pulled one. When fish. you say deep, what d depth of water are you throwing in? It was around about five meters. Five meters of water, uh -huh. and what was predominantly the lures you're using today? Uh, soft plastics all weekend on my fish, a and there brand were color two were bait breath uh, TT shad. Yes, in like a bloodworm color, and uh, Z-Man slim swims okay. in bloodworm as well. Excellent rods That's and it. lines. Uh, Daiwa, mm -hmm. uh, Daiwa rods and lines. Um, I use Gosen is the braid I use, and also their leader. And I was also using three pounds straight through. Okay. So that's actually reloaded. That's so, it. Yeah. Easy. Good payday. You'll be happy with yeah, that. Yes, very happy. The wife will be very what happy. A, what a waterway and what a weekend. It was fantastic. It is. The, the fish that came out of here were unbelievable. Oh, I haven't those, seen fish like that in a lot of years. Yeah. So, so uh, I was, think we need to come back next year for sure. We were going to. Thank you very much. You Thanks, did an Steve. awesome job this weekend. Well done and congratulations. We had a bit of a chat, but I just want to make sure between day one and day two, similar areas or exactly the same areas? Um, pretty much similar areas. So. Um, I would make my way all the way to the other side of the big bay and um, sound fish and mark them and then fish my way back. So. When we were near you, there was bait balls everywhere and then fish underneath the bait yes. balls. So we were in the right area that way. The one thing we, we saw you on the weekend on Facebook Live is the, the structure of the bottom. Was it a little shelly rock or what was yeah, it? Yeah, so it was um, quite old shell. So yes. Pretty much um, they were scattered all over the the ground and that's pretty much where the brim were chewing on those shells okay and we talked about the pontoon 21 lure what rods and reels and line classes are you um, using? so shimano stratic um yep. ci4s and um daiwa um braid um j braid and um for rods miller rods what depth of water are you throwing most of the time uh, mostly five to six metres. five to six okay good well done great to see you back thank here you. and taking home another check well done thank, thank you, you. Well, that wraps up probably one of the best rounds I've been to in a long time, and these things are not possible without all the help. We've got Jim Berry on scoring. We had Lex Court on the uh, key tags. We had Matt Petri on the bump tub, Carl Dubois on the camera along with uh, Barn Hill, and we also had Aaron Mods William helping Jim on scoring. 
great weekend. The photos will be up tomorrow for uh, day one and day two's fishing photos and the weigh-in photos later on. Good result. And uh, for all the uh, people in Woi Woi, we thank you very much for it. And all the people who are watching this, thank you for tuning in. I'm glad we sorted out the uh, sound today and look forward to seeing you up on the Gold Coast for round number seven. I believe that's, uh, I think, the 22nd and 23rd of June. So for me, good afternoon.